British scientist Robert Edwards, who was awarded a Nobel Prize for his pioneering work in developing in vitro fertilization IVF, leading to the birth of the first test tube baby, died on Wednesday. He was 87. He was awarded the Nobel Prize for Medicine in 2010, three decades after the birth of the world's first test tube baby and five decades after he first began experimenting. Louise Brown, the first test tube baby who was born by the IVF method, came to the world in 1978. In the late 1970s, Edwards, along with his fellow researcher, Dr. Patrick Steptoe, became famous after developing the technique of in vitro fertilization. Their work won them the gratitude of many millions of people, but ran into conflict with the Catholic Church. Born in Yorkshire, Northern England on September 27, 1925, into a working class family, Edwards served in the British Army during World War II before returning home to study first agricultural sciences and then animal genetics. Building on earlier research which showed that egg cells from rabbits could be fertilized in test tubes when sperm was added. Edwards developed the same technique for humans. In a laboratory in Cambridge, Eastern England in 1968, he along with the research partner Steptoe first saw life created outside the womb in the form of a human blastocyst, an embryo that is developed for five to six days after fertilization. But Edwards and Steptoe died in 1988 were forced to defend their work in the face of severe opposition from the media, the Catholic Church and fellow scientists. He remained convinced to the end that the Catholic Church is wrong to object to IVF, saying clergy who condemn the technique are totally mistaken. Bureau Report, DD News.